Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Regine and YFN Lucci situation. So if you guys do not know this damn cucumber gate, this shit has hit the fan, okay? Because of cucumber gate, Regine took to social media and basically dumped Lucci in front of the world. Um, basically, people started dragging her because if you guys all know, like I stated in the other video, she came out with a video back on July 1st. I just want to say, um, I know it's none of my business, and really everybody has their opinion on it, but I just saw something from a rapper that's so stupid. Um, I feel like the cucumber situation, I feel like to each his own, that's what you do, but it's very degrading, and it's not cute, and also... If you have a daughter, that shit is not cool. And honestly, the folks that's posting it and stuff like that, like, you gotta understand, if you got kids, your kids going to school, and trust me, them kids is addressing your kids about that, and it's not cool. Trust me, I grew up in this life, and everybody, everything that my parents did, my, my mama, my daddy did, it came back to me, and that's not cute. One, two, I heard somebody say, y'all don't, don't hear Riri talking about this, y'all don't hear Kylie talking about this, because, th honestly, they're not out here, and they're not dealing with it, and guess what, I'm so glad that I'm not about to deal with it anymore, because anybody that's promoting that and thinking that's cool, I don't want to be nowhere near them, because they're childish, they're dirty, and they're pathetic. That's all I have to say. Where she was denouncing the whole cucumber challenge, and her mom even came on her post to co-sign everything she was saying. And so when people saw her at the cucumber party, people started dragging her like, okay, you talked all this shit, why are you here? So Regine says the reason why she was there is because she was spying on Lucci. So this is what was posted on The Shade Room. So Regine says, okay guys, I want to say this. I went to a party to spy on Ray, Lucci. Females don't act like you've never did it, but when I heard about the cucumber activities, I left. To be honest, I've made myself look like a fool for this man, and I apologize for allowing you guys to see it. Then she says, I'm young and still learning. Unfortunately, every move I make is publicized. I can't control it. I'ma try to be more private from now on. It's hard because I've always been so open and honest, but I gotta learn how to deal with my problems alone and in private. I want to tell my supporters that actually care about me and not trying to drag me from my mistakes that I love you guys and it's big things on the way. I was losing myself but baby I promise I'ma find me again. No I didn't have to do this but I owe it to my true fans because my brand is something that means a lot to me and I'm not trying to mess it up so I'll be taking a little break. I love you guys. I'm talking to my fans not you hating assholes. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so that is what Regine had to say so of course you know people were still dragging her they didn't believe her they're like you know what if you're gonna go spy on somebody why you dress like you're going to a pool party If anything, why not just send your friend to go spy on your guy? Why would you show up acting like nobody's going to know who you are? And another reason why people thought Regine was full of shit is if you go on to atlpics.net, you can clearly see her there posing, looking beautiful, having a good old funky time. She's even posing with Akbar from Love & Hip Hop ATL. So my thing is, if you were there to be incognito and spying on Lucci, then why are you there posing for pictures with other celebrities? So that's why a lot of times people just don't buy what Regine has to say. She'd have been better off just owning it and saying you know what I went there I went to go see my man you know what I'm saying and support his party but again it just once again exposes her hypocrisy 
at this point, it is what it is. Now, I do feel like Regine went there because her man was the one, you know, helping to uh, host the party along with Alexis Sky and Trouble and stuff like that. So I believe she went there to go see her man. I don't think she went there to go spy. There's nothing incognito about what she's wearing. But she is right. You know, a lot of women do that. A lot of women, you know, spy on their guys that they feel like the guy's cheating or doing something. But they do it in a more incognito way. But with that being said, um, you know, I'm sure Regine had no idea that that cucumber contest was going to get as wild and crazy as it did. Um, I don't think anybody imagined Alexis Guy taking a cucumber and shoving it up somebody's Yahoo, okay? So I'm not going to fault her for that. But I've heard this same song and dance about her breaking up with Lucci so many times. I've probably done two videos on them breaking up in the past year. Um, around the 1st of July, when she was first ranting about cucumbers, she was threatening to break up with Lucci. And he came on there and he, you know, said some sweet nothings. He said, you know, how deep is your bond? If that's all it takes for you to be gone. Then he goes on to say, we only humans, girl, we make mistakes. And then Regine took him back. So, you know, I've seen this whole back and forth, back and forth. You know, hopefully she'll stick to her guns. But who knows, when you're young, you do crazy things. Nobody can tell you anything. You have to go through those experiences yourself. So I'm not going to knock her. A lot of us have chosen bad guys in the past or people who weren't right for us in the past. And, you know, as many times as our parents or friends or cousins told us, don't date him, he ain't shit. Don't date her, she ain't shit. We had to fall on our own asses. So I'm not going to knock her for being young and for making a decision to date somebody like YNF Lucci. At the end of the day, she has to learn. If she decides to get back with him a week or two weeks from now, that's on Regine. Because a lot of people do this in the real world. They break up, make up, you know what I'm saying, until they finally grow tired of the situation. But... Um, as far as YNF Lucci, you know, how he's responding to the breakup, how he's responding to the breakup, he went on to Instagram live and he's just posting pictures from his video shoot. He's also, you know, just rapping to songs. Hello, Is it the L song? It was real money look like, bro. What am I looking like? Yeah. Uh, what I want? Looks like YNF Lucci finally decided to respond back to Regine. So he's doing a song with uh, Trey Songs. And so basically this is what he had to say. He says, with all the good shit going for a nigga, ain't no time for negativity. Add Trey Songs. Appreciate the gems, big bro. Hashtag unstoppable. Hashtag another one. So that's what he had to say um, about the whole situation with him and Regine. It looks like at this point in time, he doesn't want to deal with any of the negativity. He's focusing on his music, and that's about it. And I don't blame him. Either way, they both got to pick themselves up and keep it moving. Um, Trouble, the guy who threw the party, who was Alexis Sky's um, boyfriend, he did have something to say. And I'm not about to read this mumbo-jumbo AT alien bullshit, okay? I'm going to go ahead and post it. Y'all can go ahead and read it, break it down, decipher it how you do. Y'all go ahead and check what Trouble had to say. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, you just read Trouble Struggle Ass uh, Instagram post. Like I said, I was not going to read that bullshit. Um, so now another person is speaking up, somebody who really had no relevance to the situation, but she's one of the girls who won the cucumber challenge. And now she has a message for Regine and YNF Lucci. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Lucci, come haul out a real bitch. Come haul out a real bitch. And hey, listen, not for one shit, you hear me? Only a real grown bitch sees where the fuck I'm coming from. Only a real grown nigga feels me. Like, listen, if you ain't never had money, if you ain't never had shit, I know you feel me. Y'all gonna feel this shit. I am feeling you. Do you hear me? I have kids. 
yeah, exactly. Don't let your see that's that that's what's wrong with people today. Y'all let y'all kids sit on social media. Kids be five, six, seven years old with a fucking iPhone. My baby don't got no. My baby don't play games. Guess what? My baby get up and go outside. Why is y'all kids sitting on social media anyways? What type of parenting is that? I'm sorry. When I was five, six years old, I didn't have no fucking phone. I wasn't on Facebook. I wasn't on IG. What is y'all like? So. Me having kids ain't even a worry because my kids don't sit on social media like half y'all kids do. So as far as my kids seeing my shit, my kids ain't going to see my shit until they grown, high school. But once again, like I said before, y'all act like I'm out here sucking the next, like random dicks, this and that, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm out here sucking cucumbers, something that was meant for me to go, that was meant to go in my mouth, go down my throat. And just like I said, I'm going to tell my kids, eat your fucking vegetables. So I heard a bitch is tired of being young and dumb for their nigga and tired of looking like a clown. So somebody tell Lucci, I said, what's up? Tell him come holler at a real bitch. You know who ain't scared to make them mistakes with their nigga? Who gon' run them three sums like a real bitch should? If you don't want your nigga looking at the next bitch, you better join in, hop on that train, baby girl. Lucci, come holler at me real quick. All right, so you guys just saw what that cucumber thought had to say. I'm sure her father is proud, okay? I mean, it's really sad that a lot of these girls think hoeing and tricking and being the side chick is the new thing on social media. They'll, they're they just doing anything for clout at this point. I feel like she shouldn't have anything to say about Regine or Lucci's relationship. It has nothing to do with her because Regine's upset does not mean that she's an immature ass bitch and this and that. You know, why disrespect her because she's putting her foot down about Lucci's behavior at the party? But anyway, honey like i said this entire situation is a hot damn mess but you know what i'm here for bitch so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment do you believe regine when she says that she's done with this whole wine up lucci situation or do you feel like once again regine is just saying this for the gram and eventually lucci will be back whispering some sweet nothings in her ear and she will take him back like she always does and then last but not least how do you guys feel about the cucumber thought having so much to say about Regine and Wine Flucci. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.